Hello and happy Tuesday. Oh no. <laughs> I'm flying. Look, he's flying. It looks, it looks pretty like pretty realistic. Is Love this it? like VFX? <laughs> I'll just take the elevator down. Why take the elevator when you can take a canoe? Oh, sorry, I didn't know that I was. <laughs> So today, this afternoon, uh, the tropical storm is supposed to be over top of us. At some point. Is it still called Elsa? Yeah, it's still called Elsa. Even though it's not a hurricane. Right. Tropical storms have names. But is it is it still called Elsa? Yeah, it gets named as soon as it turns into a tropical storm. And then it keeps the name as a hurricane. Keeps the name as a hurricane or back down to a tropical storm. Okay. And they'll still refer to it as Elsa, even if it goes down into like a low or a depression or something like that. Okay. Although it's not officially named that. Hey, what are you showing me? He was asking you to pick him up. You want me to see your, your cupcake? You so got two beautiful cupcakes. <laughs> One, One, two. two. So this will be Jackson's second tropical storm. What was the first one? Do you remember? He was very little. What do you see, buddy? Are these mommy's shorts? Oh, you hug him, mommy. Thank you. I love you so much. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so there, there was a tropical storm when he, I think he was like four months old. He was very little. I know that I was nervous because, um, he was still like breastfeeding and stuff. And I was nervous that I was going to lose all of my stored milk in the freezer. Oh yeah. And that was something that I was like, oh no, I worked so hard for this. Um, yeah. and it didn't, everything turned out to be fine. We didn't lose power in this neighborhood. Our power lines are buried. Right. Uh, which is good because not every, like our old house, the power lines were above ground. And if you remember, um, was it Irene? Yeah. Is that the, the hurricane? Like, and I know that this was one that some of you, that's how you found our channel was through our hurricane Irene video. Cause we did, we showed you before, during and after the storm, like how we prepared for the storm, how we like rode out the storm and then how we had to clean up after the storm. But yeah, we were out of power for like weeks. <laughs> Yeah. And we, it was during Halloween Horror Nights because I remember we were so excited that we had booked a hotel because that was the only way that we would have air conditioning. Right. <laughs> it was so hot. And we were all sleeping in one spot downstairs mm -hmm. in like the coolest spot of the house and also the safest spot like near the yeah. stairs. We were like in the, the, like the foyer basically. We were like in between the stairs, the living room, and the kitchen. Yeah. I'm going to link that video down below in case you haven't seen it. It was... I thought it was a pretty interesting uh, documentation of the storm. But right now, we're just cooking up some pasta for Jackson. And something that I always like to do, where you guys oh. sticking your tongues out at each other? I got a haircut. Oh yeah, you did. I need um, a haircut real bad. I'm actually gonna link Marquise's information down below because in one of the last videos, I said I was gonna do it and I totally forgot. Oh no. So that's where Tim goes to get his haircut as the presidential barber. I will yeah. link everything down below. He does an awesome job. He's if great. You guys, yeah, if you guys are in Orlando, he's like the top rated barber in Orlando. So check him out and if we you like, want to get a good haircut. We always have good talks. Yeah. You know? Hi, well, hi buddy. You want to tell everybody about your cupcake? So I've got one beautiful cupcake. One. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what his little toy sings. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to link the hurricane video down below. I'm going to link Marquise's information down below. But today we are preparing for the tropical storm. I'm not really doing anything because I took, so we have some chairs outside that have like cushions. I took yeah. those off. He has a slide outside. I brought that in. And then we have our uh, plumeria. So that's what it is, right? Plumeria. Yeah. That's out in the front. And I just moved that close to the house rather than being away from the house. That's all yeah. that I did. Cause I'm not expecting hurricane force winds. I'm expecting I like 30, 40 mile an hour winds. Which is still, you know, pretty intense if you're not used to that kind of thing. Yeah. I think we're going to get more rain than wind is what you said, right? Yeah. And our biggest concern is tornadoes. Right. So, uh, there is the possibility of tornadoes. So now in that situation, I'm going to show you where we would go. You want to come with me, buddy? You want to show everybody the bathroom? What do you think? You want to show them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in our house, we have a lot of windows. There are windows like, you know, all over the house. The one place that does not have a window though is this bathroom. So we would probably just kind of hang out in here. And there is even another area, like if we really, really wanted to be super safe, I guess that probably wouldn't be super safe. But I guess we would just hang out in this bathroom. It's the innermost room on the first floor. We have block walls on the outside. And this is the 
furthest in from everything. Yeah. So like, I don't know. We've never been through. I've been through a tornado once in my life, and I don't really know how to prepare for a tornado because they're not very common here in Florida. They do happen, but I don't necessarily have as big of a tornado plan as I do a tor uh, hurricane plan. Right. Yeah. So. But we did get some groceries, so we're all good on that front. We have batteries, flashlights, water, canned food. And we have everything we need for we a have, hurricane. Like, yeah, food for him. I have like camping <gasps> stoves and stuff like that. Yeah, so we're, we're good. Yeah. You, are you good? What do you think, buddy? Are you ready? You ready for a hurricane? Yeah? He's like, as long as I have my toys, I don't really care what happens. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's your chair. As long as I got my chair? You want to sit in your blue chair? Sit in your blue chair, buddy. Good job! You did it! Yay, buddy! Oh, your pasta's done! Wait, I want to talk to them about something. Oh, okay. So while Tim is getting Jackson's pasta ready, something that I like to do when we have this kind of weather, whether it's like a hurricane, tropical storm, just severe weather that's coming in, I like to have all the laundry done. I like to make sure all the laundry's done. I like to get all of the dishes done. Um, just so that I don't have to use any like electronic stuff, like any appliances in case our power does go out. I don't want to be like stuck without clothes or clean uh, dishes. So that's how I prepare for the storm. So that is a really good thing to do if you've never been through a hurricane or if you're here like uh, on vacation during a hurricane, make sure you have clean clothes and clean dishes. Cause if the power goes out, you can't clean your, you can't use your dishwasher. Uh, you can't use your washing machine, so make sure you're stacked up with that stuff. That's something that a lot of people forget. And then, I never really understood, okay, so if the power goes out at your water distribution center, then you don't have any fresh water coming to your house. So, you want to have water in the bottles, that's why you have bottled water. And then you also want to fill up your bathtub and have a bucket up there. And that, the purpose of that is to be able to flush your toilet. So. You can either just have that bucket and dump it straight into the bowl and that will like if you dump it kind of quick that'll flush whatever's in there down or you just take the lid off the tank on the back of the toilet and fill that with water and it'll be just like the toilet was running because that's all that it does is when it's connected to the wall it just fills up water inside of the tank you flush it it dumps the water out of the tank into the bowl and that flushes whatever's in the toilet down the drain so you can just fill your tank up with a bucket from the water that was in your bathtub. That's why people fill up their bathtubs, is to make sure that they have water to flush their toilets with. And if worse comes to worse, we also have like a camping water filtration system so that I can pump water out of the pool, or we have a cistern on the side of the house too, I can pump water out of that and we'll have clean drinking water if worse comes to worse. But like I said, I'm not really expecting this to be too bad of a storm. Oh, another thing to do before a big storm is to make sure all your devices are charged. iPads, phones, uh, computers, things like that. So, oh, and download stuff to watch. Yeah, and download stuff from like Netflix or YouTube or whatever to watch. So that if the power goes out and you don't have internet or something, you have some entertainment until that device dies. Also charge up any extra batteries that you have laying around. It's a great idea. That way you can be prepared with entertainment when the power's out. Cause like it's, especially at night, if the power's out, it's just dark. There's nothing happening. It's like pitch black everywhere. If you've got a little iPad with like, I don't know, Trolls World Tour downloaded on it. That's what we have. You can watch it. Segway, the best Segway I've ever had in my life. Uh, or you could download Fear Street, which we watched the first one of. And this is a, like, if you're into horror movies and gore, it's great, super fun. Um, I don't, I'm like, this is one of those shows or one of those like movie events that I'm like so excited for the sequels because there's three of them total. And we've seen the first one, and the next one comes out on the 9th, and I'm very, very excited for the next one. Because it looks like it'll be fun. And also it's got like some, it's got some of the, some of the actors from Stranger Things are in this show, or in this movie event. So, you guys should watch Fear Street if you're into like... It's from R.L. Stein. Oh, it's from R.L. Stein. But, when you think R.L. Stein, you think like Goosebumps, like teen scary books. No, this is like straight up adult, very scary stuff. A lot of gore, a lot of blood. All right, so it's about five o'clock. We're about maybe like an hour away from the first band pulling through. And you can see there's the wind is starting to happen. Like there's not a lot of wind, but there is some wind blowing around. 
see the pine trees back there kind of whipping back and forth a little bit. But for the most part, this is it. There's no rain yet. The sky is just cloudy. And a little tiny bit of wind coming through. So I think we need to try to find something for dinner before the rain starts. Hello? Hi, I like your ball. Yeah, you show me your pink ball? Oh, he wants to turn on the switch. Are you trying to turn on the lights for daddy? Thank you, it's not dark outside though, so I don't need the lights on. Oh yeah, let me see your shoes, buddy. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Yeah, look at them lighting up. Whoa. That's right, he is wearing sandals with socks. <laughs> yes. So in the last clip, I said the first band should be coming in about an hour. Mm -hmm. That's right now. And just look at, we'll put the radar in between us right here. And you can see <laughs> there is a band that went just west of Orlando. Weast? Just weast, <laughs> right? West? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think so, yeah, west. So that was the band that I thought was gonna hit us right about now, and it kind of moved over to the left just a little bit. I wonder if we're gonna get any rain. We definitely will. The majority of the storm is still south of us, mm. and it's coming. Oh, okay. Like, we are definitely gonna get some rain. So I wanted to also show you, like, how we prepared. Oh yeah, this is it. These are our chairs that normally have covers and pillows and everything on them. Now they're just like metal frames just sitting out here. They, hmm. they shouldn't move. Yeah, I don't think they're pretty heavy. Yeah. So. And you can kind of see there is there is a little bit of a wind going, like a little bit of a breeze. These aren't moving at all. <laughs> they're moving a little bit. We'll show you later on when the when the weather is actually here. Good thing I got these cool Crocs. Yeah, I know. To wear outside, you know they're waterproof, right? Are they? Perfect for this inclement weather that's supposed to come. When we bought these, they said, "Do you want this special stuff that makes them waterproof?" <laughs> and I was like. I thought they were waterproof. <laughs> I think they're they're supposed to make them shiny. Yeah. Buddy. I think you got some some light up shoes on, buddy. Oh yeah. So now we can see you. Look at that little buddy. Yeah. You wanna show everybody your sticker? Where's your sticker? Where no, it? it used to be on your hand and you moved it. Where'd you put it? You put it on your shirt, buddy, on your shirt. Put let me see it on your shirt. Where's your sticker? Oh, not you in your hair. In <laughs> you see it right here? There it is, buddy. You wanna show everybody your rock? Yeah. What about your egg? And your egg? Wow. Is that an egg? Egg. Egg. He said it. He did. I don't know if you could hear him. So far, the storm has been pretty uneventful over here on this side of town. This is sort of the way that hurricanes are, though. Like, well, this is a tropical storm. It went up to a hurricane. Oh, it did? Yeah. When? Uh, like 30 minutes ago. Oh, like a, a one? Yeah, one. Oh, okay. And it will be back down to a tropical storm with whatever we get hit with, but... Okay. Right before landfall, it was up at a hurricane. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, this is, but this is how it is before hurricanes. Is like, it's coming, but like this is, this yeah. is what you get right now. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll keep you updated. Another thing that I find kind of a little bit strange is that every hurricane that I can remember, mm -hmm. the worst of it happens at night. Mm, yeah. Why? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Maybe like the air pressure or like the well, no, because it, it's or... just Orlando though. Like it, oh. it's it's hitting Miami right now in the daytime, but it's not going to hit here during the daytime. And I don't remember any other hurricanes hitting us in the daytime. Hmm. I remember like having hurricanes, looking outside me like, oh, it's bad, and then going to sleep and waking up to like like all the destruction, debris everywhere. Yeah. Huh? That's so weird. Egg. Egg. Are you saying egg? Egg. 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 Where do you cook your egg? Where do you cook your eggs? Yep. That's where you cook your eggy, buddy. But you need a frying pan. So I also wanted to mention that we went to Publix to get a few things that we needed um, for grocery rides and just like for the storm and stuff. But we got these cookies. Hold on, buddy, I'll give you one in one second. These are so delicious. Chunky chocolate chip cookie bites with pecans. You get 14 cookies for less than one cookie at Disney World. Isn't that like pretty wild? But they're tiny. Yeah, but. These at Disney World are huge. <laughs> but 14 of them. This is, this is, go to Publix to get your cookies. These are good. Look at how cute you are already for bed. And it even says so, extra cute today. You are on extra your shirt. cute. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you so much, buddy. You know, hug daddy. I ruined your hair. Oh well, no, I I'm spent sorry. so much time getting this hair combed. <laughs> That's Mickey Mouse. Mickey. This is, is love is universal. Yeah. That's the letter A. 
That's letter the letter L. L. Ooh, this is cursive. You don't oh, even yeah. know cursive yet. <laughs> he's like blowing oh. his mind. So he's going to miss the storm and uh, he's going to head to bed. Buddy. We had a pretty productive day though, I would say. Bad news for you. What? There's a big storm coming. That's, that's an O. <laughs> he gets so happy. So, here buddy, look, 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 look over here. You want to wave goodnight to everybody? Yeah, you tell everybody goodnight. Good night. Night night. He said, hi. 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 I love wow. his little hi. 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 So I'm still working on getting out the vlog for the day. It is like 7.30 right now. So sorry I went up late, but yeah, that's what we had. We had a pretty productive day, huh? Yeah, we're just yeah. getting ready for the storm. You ready for bed? Uh. <laughs> well, I think you are. You're it's all ready. It's bedtime. That's right. We got one more thing to do. We have to read you a story. Oh yeah, we're gonna read Good Night Moon. Okay, good night, buddy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thumbs up. Good job. I like how All it's right. like a quick draw thing. With it. it's like... Thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Good night, my buddy. I love bye. you. Hi. Bye. Can you say it? Wait. Bye. I love say you, night, buddy. Night. Night night. That's the camera. <laughs> All right. Night. I love you. Sleep tight. We'll see you in the morning. Here's something we forgot to mention outside is that Epcot canceled their showing of Epcot Forever fireworks tonight and Busch Gardens Tampa closed early at four o'clock and they're not going to open again until noon tomorrow. So a little bit of an extended closure over there in Tampa, but the storm still hasn't started here yet. It's uh, 8, 8.15. It might start raining soon. The storm is like, when I look at the radar, it's like right underneath where we're at. Here's something that I find wild about being a parent. Time is different. So like, I totally thought, or forgot, I guess, I, I thought that I got a haircut on a different day. That was today. I got a haircut this morning. Totally thought it was like yesterday that that happened. That's what it's like being a parent. Time moves slower sometimes. It is about 8.30 at night and it has officially started raining. It's just a drizzle outside right now, but the rain has started and it probably won't stop until sometime tomorrow. Lots and lots of rain. It is now uh, almost 11 o'clock at night. It is not raining anymore. There is a huge cell, like the main cell of the storm is headed up towards us, but that won't happen for a little bit. Like we are gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> Fun news is that we are in a tornado watch. Oh, are we? Yeah, literally like five counties around us are in a tornado watch. That's scary. Like we don't have tornado sirens. Right. So how do, we're gonna be asleep. I'm like afraid to go to sleep. We can, there's like, it'll set off an alarm on our phone. Even my phone? Well, I mean, I can turn my alarm on. Cause my phone is like, never makes any notifications at all. Right. So, I don't know. It's just kind of nerve wracking, especially because Jackson is in a different room and like, I don't know. I don't, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure you guys get it. It's just nerve wracking, but. Right. Everything is gonna be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> I think so. I think we'll be okay. I was just reading on Twitter, some people were talking about the storm and it was literally right above them. Like mm -hmm. the actual storm is directly over where they live and it's nothing. Like it's it's just like a, a normal Florida storm. Yeah, so. that's the way that I figured it would be. Right now it's weird outside because it's dead still. No wind, no rain, nothing. Yeah. And that's like the calm before the storm, you know? Right. So. I'm sure there will be some wind at some point tonight, but we're gonna go to bed. 
We'll keep you updated though. We are going to continue this vlog in the morning. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you if anything did happen, what happened, what it looks like outside. If anything really wild happens during the night and we wake up, we'll show you that. But uh, fingers crossed that it's just, you know, nothing. It'll be like a normal night. Yeah. So I don't know. Hopefully you guys are having a great night. But uh, we will see you in the morning. All right, it's about 6.30 in the morning now. A little bit of rain happening. A little teeny tiny bit of wind, nothing too intense. And we're kind of like right in the middle of it. This is probably the worst that it's gonna get. So, just a lot of rain, like just constant rain. That's what it's like for us. Once the sun comes up a little bit more, I'll show you some more. All right, the sun is up. Uh, there's been some gusts coming through that have really, like I've been able to hear. Kind of like blowing like howling but they're like few and far between finally found we've been saving this cookie tin forever and i finally found a good use for it all right jackson let's hear it yeah it's like a little buddy drum drum on it it's a i think it's a flower Nice work, buddy. I want to show you all my hurricane breakfast. You want some, buddy? This is... Oh, hold on. This is strawberry, pineapple, kiwi, and banana. All blended together. For a delicious, delicious breakfast smoothie. Oh, and there's some almond, almond milk in there, too. Yeah, I know. That's what I say. I hope that this video doesn't downplay hurricanes, but... Kind of like, kind of like a normal day here. Just like a rainy day. Oh, there it is. The wind's augusting. But the, here's the other thing is that we can see some blue skies through there though. It's also intensely humid outside. Pretty windy. I wish I had one of those things that like tells me how fast the wind is going right now. It's not intense. Feels like we're at the beach because it's like a humid breeze blowing through. Also the clouds always move so fast during these storms. I'll have to look at the radar and see what's coming through next. Oh, is there a breeze coming? There's a big wind. I wonder if that tree had fallen before or if that was a pro- I guess it's not because the wind is blowing out of the east. So it's about noon and looking at the radar, it seems like the majority of the storm is gone. Like it's up north now towards Gainesville, Jacksonville area. I know those aren't the same area, but uh, that's like the storm is wide enough to go from one to the other and I think we're out of the woods for it now I don't think we'll see any more rain maybe a couple more like breezes like that like we just saw but for the most part I think it's done I think we weathered the storm Can you show mommy how you do your somersault? Show me! <laughs> show me how you do it! Show me how you do it! Almost! Wow that was pretty close! You did it before, you wanna try it again? You wanna try to do your tumble again? Tumble tumble! You just want to lay there like a little cutie? That's okay too. Can you do it? Show me your tumble tumble. Can you get down here? <laughs> wow, you did it! That was good, buddy. Good job. So it's actually the following day. It's super bright and sunny outside right now. Mm -hmm. A beautiful day. It's literally like the perfect day. Right? Huge contrast from what we were in for a couple of days. They're just like cloudy and gloomy. Mm -hmm. uh, it does go to show you that you never know what you're gonna get in Florida. Yeah. Like even around hurricane season and with a hurricane coming or a tropical storm or for the most part it was a tropical storm and then right before it hit landfall it was a hurricane and then it turned back into a tropical storm. But like we didn't see a lot of wind. We didn't see, we saw a lot of rain but we didn't see too much damaging conditions. No, I mean, we have a lot of like palm trees outside and usually what'll happen is you might lose some like palm fronds, you might lose some of the like the boots, the like, the it's kind of like the bark, I guess, at the top of the tree. You might see some of that kind of like strewn about the yard. We didn't have any of that. Right. Which was kind of shocking. I thought, I thought for sure there'd be more debris outside, but yeah, it really wasn't too bad. I'm thankful that we didn't get like the brunt of it. So I am right. very, I'm very thankful for that, but. And I do know that the brunt of it hit somewhere around Tampa area. Oh, did it? Yeah, and it still wasn't too bad. Okay. Like, there wasn't a lot of damage, so that's good. It was it was the best case scenario for a tropical storm or a hurricane coming to Florida. Yeah, but we wanted to share the experience with you so that we could kind of like ride out the storm together. I said in the beginning of the video that we had already shared a storm experience with you 
uh, I think it was like three years ago that for Irene. So again, I'll link that video down below if you haven't watched it. That's a more, um, a better look, I think, at the before, during, and after of a, of a hurricane. Right. A higher category hurricane, at least. So if you want to watch that and see what that was like, um, we that was back when Bandit was around too. So you can see kind of how we dealt with it with a pet with Bandit. Um, he didn't do terribly. No. Which was kind of shocking. Um, but yeah, so I'll link that down below. Yeah, but all in all, it was still a good day. We had fun. Mm -hmm. We rode out the storm together. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.